Hey guys, CruiseJFX here, and today I've uh, got a tutorial for you. But before I do the tutorial, I'm just going to give you a quick update. I've teamed up with a graffiti artist called Exposed, and our first speed art uh, is up. So go and check that out on my channel and his channel, which is Exposed Graphics. It's in my sub box. Um, basically, he does the graffiti, and I do the 3D and GFX stuff and so we put them together, speed them up and you know just like a normal speed up but there's two halves to it and so go look at that if it gets popular enough then I'll move it onto a, um, a separate channel and so on with the tutorial now I had a new idea for um, my tutorials from now on rather than just have one showing you one thing in a tutorial which could be a bit boring and it's quite long and you spend a lot of time looking at my video and you don't get a lot out of it I thought I could do two two tutorials um, in one video and move quite fast and so I thought I'd call them dual tuts and so I'm going to do that today and I'm going to show you the first tutorial which was a request from Blackberry Designs I believe and he wanted a tutorial on the boxes on my background here just these kind of grills down the side so I'm going to show you how to do those so you want to open up your YouTube um, background and you're going to come to your pen tool as you know, cl click um, come into your rectangle tool if it's not there click and hold um, make a new layer put it under your um, your background um, and then just click and drag to make your box then do control T right click click skew and pull this point out so you've got a angle apply you then want to come to your poly polygonal lasso tool and you want to click in the corner drag it up to at the ang the same angle as the um, angle of your box click then holding shift move it up so you get a straight line click drag it back down at the same angle as the last line click hold shift again and connect it then you want to press delete and then with your arrow keys press up move it up until you're happy press delete again and just keep doing that keep pressing delete and eventually you'll work your way to the very top there we go and that's pretty much the box and you could add a um, layer style like I did like that and mess around with the bending options and then the box behind it you want to make a new layer put, a, put that layer behind this make a box over this control T skew drag out again apply um, apply a colour overlay, like uh, I'm just going to apply a purple ok um, then you want to hold control click on the box of that layer and it will select all the pixels control and click on this box um, come to your rectangular marquee tool hold alt and then drag up halfway um, halfway across your box here let go, come to the bucket tool, choose white, make a new layer, make sure you make a new layer and fill that with white, control D to deselect, drag the opacity down, there we go, drag it down a little bit more and then click on your white um, layer, click on your purple layer and do control E to group them and there's your box and then you just select both of these, duplicate, OK, do control E flip horizontal and there you go, you've already got a grill OK, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to show you the next tutorial now and um, this is actually just a tip when using the pen tool now, say I want to cut out this shape I'm going to start here I'm going to click here, drag out and I get a nice curved line perfectly in line now I want to come here and when I click here I get this weird curve and I don't want that curve 
and you might be thinking how do I fix this and I only figured this out quite recently I'm not sure if it is a common problem for you guys or you guys already know how to solve it <laughs> um, but I'm just going to show you so um, I'm going to undo that so once you've made your first curve here you want to hold alt and click on this point that you just dragged out click on it and it will get rid of this line here and then you're free to click here and it's a nice straight line then you might want to drag out again there we go and click here Make and that's about in line, it's not going to be perfect because this is a tutorial and wait a minute so say I want to oh god just a minute there we go, see if I want to drag this out I want to drag it out a bit more and then say I want to click here it does this weird curve and I don't want that curve, I want a nice straight line along here so you're just going to hold alt click on this point again and you get a nice straight line you can click here and there you've cut the shape, shape out and I just went over a bit um, that's pretty much the tutorial um, Please subscribe, go check out, um, go look at my exposed speed art, it's on both our channels. And give me feedback on whether you want to see more of these double tutorials or dual tuts. And that's the tutorial, thanks and I'll see you in the next tutorial.